Alrighty then, morning, morning. It is 7.40, October 6th. Again, I'm gonna let you pick the year. Um, I believe it's 2021, but it might be 2050, 2100, somewhere within that ballpark. Um, yeah, we're gonna walk places. So we are officially underneath 840 miles. I think where we camped last night, we were like right at 839. So um, depending how far we get today, we'll be close close to sub 800. Um, we're gonna, we have to walk this road for a few more miles this morning and then it connects back into the Masabi Trail. So the Masabi Trail abruptly ends in Tower and you got to walk this long road walk and then you get back onto the bike path. So luckily the road, I don't know, I'm a fan of when the roads are calm and just like this, like it's nice. It's um, not baking hot. It's just a calm, peaceful road with not too many cars. Um, pretty baller campsite we found last night too. Camping around this section of Minnesota. Um, you're just gonna have to look for the public land usage places. Um, so yeah, look at your maps, plan ahead. Um, yeah, we're cruising. We got a 31, 32 mile day out of town yesterday, which for a day out of town, whew, I think we got that terminus energy pulling us. Yeah, baby. Let go. Wait in the water, children. Uh, that's usually my uh, fording song for fording rivers, but it felt right. It felt right at this moment because it's so overcast and misty. The Lando Lakes is the Lando Clouds. Um, it's like weather systems create other weather systems for some reason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a joke, folks. I know weather. Moisture on the ground means moisture in the air. So, um... Wait in the water, children. Wait in the water. God's gonna trouble the water. <sighs> it's gonna be me. It's gonna be me today. You all might want to skip by this video. You guys might want to skip by the last month of trail. No, we're gonna see some pretty beautiful things. Um, today's just heavy along the road walk, but we hit bike path eventually. Um, so I'm gonna just have to entertain myself with uh, different voices, different songs. Mickey might make an appearance today. <clears throat> He's been bubbling up inside of me, just needing a release. Um, like, even as I'm talking right now, I'm having to fight Mickey back down so I don't go into the voice. Um, but that mouse, that mouse is biting to get out. Oh, I want to do the Mickey Mouse voice. <laughs> oh, that felt so good and I didn't even say anything. Oh, man. Okay, I'll let Mickey out when I see the baby. Um, the B-A-B-I, the baby. All right, let's go places. All right, so at the junction of, this is Highway 30, 135, by the way, that you walk for a long time. At the junction of this and County Highway 21, um, in, in case you wanna uh, bat, use your batting average in a fancy demeanor and not dig a hole in the woods, you pass by the Embarrassed Visitor Center, which is pretty cool. Um, it's like a little log cabin with a privy. Um, trash cans. I wonder what else they got going on. Don't embarrass yourself. Use the Embarrassed Visitor Center. Do not poop in front of a bus full of tourists like I have along road walks before. Use the Embarrassed Visitor Center. Wow, pretty area. This would be a good spot to uh, have gotten to last night. Wink. Oh my god! Yeah. Look at this! It's a sauna. What? Yeah, it's like a demonstration sauna. Oh my god! <laughs> I did not expect this. Wow. I did not expect this. Huh. It's just a lot of information about embarrassed. Sona. Sona. 
Sauna. Sauna. I'm going to say that all day now. Baby, this is pretty, pretty nuts. If this doesn't scream Northern Midwest to y'all, I don't know what does. Look at the two articles. So I did a quick pan of this area because it was just fun. But look at the two articles next to each other. Pasty Festival and Cold Enough for Ya. I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. Um, yeah, so cool. I'm sorry, I can't, I can't film everything here. Y'all are just gonna have to, uh, it's summer, let's talk minus 64. What? I guess it's the cold spot of... Uh... No, thank you. Five who camped in bitter cold to be honored. I don't want to be that person. Sorry, I can't film everything. You're just going to have to come to embarrass. Um, there's a lot of interesting things. Yeah, this is an interesting spot. Oh, wait, 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 don't get up, don't get up. Oh, I wanted to get a... Baby looks like she could live in embarrass. In your backside from the pench, don't holler too loud. Neighbors will think to be butchering a pig and be looking for pork stops next day. And right away, they ask and vent a head cheese bit on. What? If you get a sliver in your butt from the bench, don't holler too loud. Neighbors will think you're butchering a pig and be looking for pork shops the next day. Oh, wow. I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna use this wisely, baby. Well, not wisely. What an interesting place. I can't stop filming in here. We gotta go. Yeah, we gotta go. A fluffy. We always find fluffies on our road walks. Mm, really pretty stretch of road. Really pretty. It's okay, River. You don't have to be embarrassed. There's nothing to be embarrassed about. You're powerful. You got a good flow. Um, you may not be as big as other rivers, but that's okay. It's all about the motion in the river. Um, that's okay. No reason to be embarrassed, River. No reason to be embarrassed. Oh, look at you. You're very pretty. You kind of just flow in, doing your thing. It's okay. Don't be embarrassed. I think if I'm not mistaken, that's called Giant's Ridge. Um, we should be getting close to the Masabi Trail, where it kind of cuts out that way and then comes back in. So, I think that's it. Could be wrong. Pretty sure, though. Alright, back to the Masabi Trail. Um... Nice to get off that road for a little bit. I think the vast majority of the rest of our day is Masabi, which is nice. Um, again, the road walk is not too bad, but um, it's still nice to not have to worry about cars coming at, coming at your face. So we are pretty much on bike path for the rest of the day. We have intermittent road spots, but nothing as long as that. Well, look at who it is. I have to pee. How do you feel about that? Questions, comments, concerns? Oh, I really have to pee. Pee them. Oh, okay, I'm peeing. Right now? No. Very pretty. Alright. Um, we're a mile or two from Giant's Ridge, so that... When I had that clip a little bit ago that wasn't actually Giant's Ridge, you kind of wiggle and waggle around to get there. But this lake made me think of updating y'all on water. Um, from the town of Ely, um, you don't really have water along the road for a while until you hit Soden. Um, Soden, you could get it at the corner store and then Tower. Um, as you saw, we got it alongside the bar. I think you're hitting the stretch again of where you can, um, if you feel comfortable with it, just carry out water from towns. Um, there is options like along the road walk 135 um, that we did yesterday and then into this morning. You pass some rivers, um, as you saw the Embarrassed River, as well as like a little streams, but 
you can filter it. Like it's not going to be bad, but if you just want to avoid that hassle, you can carry from town to town. So like we're going to get to, um, I'll tell you the town name once we get there, Gilbert, um, Gibraltar, um, Bivouac. There's a lot of towns. Um, when you're on the bike path, there's a lot of towns. So water, again, depending how much you consume, depending if you do this, well, I'm assuming if you're doing a through hike that you would do it during the spring or fall since it's near the end or beginning for the sides. But yeah, um, the water sits, you're fine. Um, like I said, along the road, you have access. The driest stretch was really from Ely to Tower. And then from Tower from to where we are currently, we've passed some uh, rivers and streams. So yeah, water sitch, pretty good. So that's Giants Ridge. Um, we heard from a local in Ely. Um, this is kind of the, during the winter time, the kind of local spot to uh, ski, snowboard, what have you. Looks like they got a good couple runs up there. Pretty cool. Oh, those are definitely ski chalets. Yeah. All right. This is as good as any spot for lunch. Um, a little bit before the ski spot. I think we go this way and then come right back around. Pretty beautiful spot for lunch. 1140. 12, 13 miles in, we're cruising. Cruise McDidley in. Diddley and McCruising? Hi. Hello. Perfect opportunity, baby. Do you know what I was referring to? No, I was referring to the cannonballs. Oh, I see. But there was also a weight limit. It was a twofer. Baby, guess what I see? What? I spy with my little eye, my nickname in high school. What? Look ahead of you, what do you see? Man? Huh? No, What's it, what else is it called? I don't know. A snowblower. It's not a snowblower. Oh. Oh, okay, well I thought I saw a snowblower. Nickname in high school. Walk right by. Huh, Giants Ridge stuff. Baby, another nickname in high school. Giants Ridge? Mm -mm. Oh, I like that one though. Giants Ridge is an another good one. South Trailhead? Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Okay. Sleeping Giant Trail. Oh, so many good nicknames, baby. Sorry, my mouth is full of, uh, um, oh, wow, I actually, uh, I cut that joke off. My mouth is full of jawbreakers right now. Y'all can piece together what joke I was about to say from that. I'm trying to keep it PG around here, folks. Always PG. You know what? No, we actually keep it G. We keep it for all audiences. Right, baby? We keep it G around here, right? Sometimes stray into the PG. There's some, sometimes some misfiring that goes into the PG rating, but mostly G. Mm, mostly G. Ooh. Bawabic. That's what the first town is called. Bawabic. I knew I was close with Bivouac. Um, so yeah, we, I think, walk right through the town. And might get another sandwich there. Had a sandwich for lunch, but still hungry, hungry. So might get another little sandwich at the corner store. Alright, so about a mile before Bowabic, um, 
go underneath this bridge. You're gonna see a cool lake, I believe. Um, yeah, you just stay on the bike path. Not much to it, folks. Just walk, walk a bike path. Oh, is that a privy right at the entrance? I don't know. But today's been a three type of hole filler type day. Um, been quite, quite a lot. Quite, quite a lot. Every time I drink this hose water from a tower, my stomach gets a little funky funk. So maybe don't get the hose water in tower. Maybe go into the restaurant and ask for their water um, or get some food and ask uh, politely for some water fill up too. Because, whew, I have really pushed that average today. Really pushed it. A three hole filler type day. We've done about, I don't know, 16, 17, 18 miles, somewhere in there by 1.30, which is not bad. And we're just gonna keep cruising today. Flat, 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 flatty walking. That's a interesting welcome to a town. I do hope they figure that out. But this is Biv, not Bivouac, the Babawick. Um, yeah, small little town that we walked through. So this is cool. Um, all these sidewalks are new. Oh, look at that. Um, all these sidewalks are brand spanking new. They just put them in. Really cute little town. Um, little gazebo, you could take lunch in. A giant moose that has a sign, please stay off the moose. Yeah, really cool town. Um, if your miles link up, you could definitely take lunch here. There's a Super One Foods, you can resupply. I think we're just gonna grab a little snack out of the corner store and keep rocking and rolling. So, cute little town. All these sidewalks are new. Um, as of this year, it looks, they've been just getting after it. Good job. Second, second lunch. That's that good, good. Meatball, so baby. Mm. I can dig it. I can dig it. All right, Bibouac was a cool town. Um, sat inside that Lucky 7 and just, uh, we got Subway first, and then we were both still starving. So then got two pieces of gas station pizza, which was very pleasant. So now we're walking out of town. Um, I think it's road walk. We're seeing signs for the Masabi Trail, but it's nowhere, but there's nothing there besides the road. So I think we road walk for a little bit and then connect back into the Masabi Trail, even though this is quote unquote considered the Masabi Trail, which I don't know. The Masabi Trail is all over the place. There's no trail, there's no trail. So I think you road walk out of um, Bivouac until you run into the Masabi again, even though we're technically on the Masabi. It's confusing. Um, you're on the Masabi, but not on the Masabi. We're just gonna walk places. I'm too full to talk. Oh, my belly. There's the town's name, Bawabi, Bawabi, Bawabi. All right, so it's, of course there's cars coming by while I'm doing this. One second. I'm waiting for a quiet patch because I got quite the story. Um, it's 3.40. We're about a mile left on the road walk out of Bivouac. Um, it's a busy highway, quite a busy highway. Give me one second, one second. Look at this, it's absurd. That is at least, at least a hundred lotto tickets. And some of these are like $50 lotto tickets. Um, granted, they're all scratched off, but I've just been picking them up along the side of the road for the last, I don't know, somebody must have chucked a crap ton out their window. I've been picking them up along the side of the road for the last five minutes, 10 minutes. So Magpie's way in front of me. 
but no lie. Great. I'm gonna, we're gonna have a break um, from the cars. It is no less than, I don't know. I wanna get a view once I catch up to Magpie. Um, it is just absurd how many lotto tickets are right here. Um, so yeah, I picked them up. You gotta entertain yourself on the road walk. This will actually be pretty entertaining to go through in camp tonight too. Um, I don't know, probably none of them are winners, but if we win two bucks, makes the road walk uh, worth it, right? <laughs> it's nuts. I mean, there was a pile that I was picking up. There were like 30 of them, all con consolidated. And I don't even know this, but Minnesota, um, their lottery has $50 lotto tickets. Bonkers. So, I don't know. I thought that was fun that I would tell you and show you, so... I can't wait to see Magpie's expression. Um, I don't know. I'm bored. I'm bored, and I thought it would be fun. Um, been on trail for so long. You gotta shake it up every so often. And even if none of them are winners, just picking up trash. Um, which this is technically the trail. Um, picking up trash anywhere is good. So technically, we're cleaning up the trail as well. So cool, cool. Poor baby. What did you find? All the lottery tickets? <laughs> did you stop and get all the lottery tickets? Uh huh. Wow, this person had a lot of lottery tickets. It, it shows you how like imaginatory money is. Like that person spent more than a thousand dollars. There's fifty dollar tickets in there. Holy cow! And they didn't win anything. Well, we don't know. That's why we're gonna have fun in camp tonight. Going through all the tickets. Mm -hmm. I'm not caring. This is like a pound. I know. They're for you though, baby. <laughs> Not the reaction I expected. That's, no more under that's nice. Yeah. Oh, that's See? why. That's why it's so sporadic. Yeah, it's, un it's been under construction, but now we're here in McKinley. Yes, it's actually consistent. It's trail, trail all the way now. Oh, that's so nice. All the way to Grand Rapids, that's so nice. No more road walks? No. Sweet. Sweet. They actually have an elevation profile too. I mean, it's not the most accurate looking one, but yeah. I grabbed some of the brochures. Wow. Wow. Super cool. Wasabi Trail, we start. Baby. I need a day off from driving. They're giving us a warning. For what? Our car might be locked in the park if we leave it there. Oh. We really should uh we really should make sure that it's safe. My car is in yeah, good thing our car is only a few thousand miles away. Yeah. Oh. Ooh, Gilbert. So we stopped at that little park cabin back there right before gilbert over yonder um water i didn't see any had electrical outlets and we're playing around with the idea so grand rapids was our pre-planned stop after eli which would be like i think it was 130 miles or we might look at the town of walker because if we go to grand rapids we have to carry food again for 200 miles, but if we go to Walker, we only have to carry food for a hundred and another hundred somewhere in there respectively. Um, so we'll see. I think we're gonna figure that out in camp tonight. Um, because you got a lot of towns until Grand Rapids and then from Grand Rapids to uh, Fergus Falls, I believe, you kind of have a dry stretch of no towns, um, at least the way we hike. Um, we tend to go into a section and not hitch into a town um, until we have done a certain amount of miles to keep our average up. So we'll see, we're gonna figure that out. 
But it's five o'clock. We got about 10, 11 more miles on the day. Get into camp at 8.30ish. Give us a 35, 36 mile day. Cool, cool. We are entering the quad. Okay, okay. I like that. So the trail goes through, touches Gilbert. I don't know if we go into XL. We go around Virginia and then we go through Mountain Iron. So we get three fourths of the quad. Pretty cool. Don't know what that means. If anybody knows what that means, that's interesting. 1893 to question mark. Huh. All right, the question was answered. Ooh, baby, you get to go from that pretty view to this ugly mug. Um, beautiful time of day. About 6.20. I think we have right around six miles left. Um, maybe a little bit over, a little bit under. I don't know. I never take the over under. I just walk until I get places. Um, yeah, we're sitting pretty. Literally and figuratively. So it's about 6.40. We're about to cross a bridge into Virginia. Um, three things happened within the last like 20, 30 minutes, which was pretty cool. Um, first, chatted with the gentleman on an electric bike that was curious what we were doing. Kind of gave him the spiel. Um, uh, he lives in Virginia. And um, he to I told him we were hiking from Ely, um, where our last trail town was. He's like, no, you're actually going back towards Ely. And... Um, it was funny describing the trail, how it curves around instead of straight shots. Um, so that was fun. And then I also ran into a gentleman walking the other way. He was curious where we were going, chatted him up for a little bit. Um, and then the most curious thing was as I was walking underneath this one tunnel, there was a car parked up on the overcrossing um, and a woman was out of the car with a very serious looking camera um like one of those shoulder cameras that's like super heavy um not not a gopro not a phone like us Really pretty. I can dig it. I can dig it. All right, so it's 7.07. We're just walking by these towers, um, which are part of Virginia. Again, it depends when you get here. The main street looked very, very quaint and pleasant. I just personally am not a fan of walking through towns or this is getting close to a city size town. Um, 
I'm not personally a fan of walking through them at dark. Again, not any particular reason. I just prefer not to. I don't think anything bad is going to necessarily happen. But We've had a couple of interactions that were a bit strange. Yeah, there's been a couple interesting interactions we've had. But we're going to get through it pretty quickly. we got about another mile or two to get to the tail end of it. So nothing else we could do unless we wanted to cut a super short day. So we got to push on through it. Welcomes you to Virginia. We walked through Virginia, Masabi. You're a little confused. We done did it. We're out of Virginia. All right, so I think we did closer to a 35 today. But um, yeah, this is camp.